That about wraps up how to embed an image into your discussion thread. Don't forget that no matter what option you choose, you can always go into the HTML code, and if you can find the width and the height, you can adjust those. When choosing a percentage, do not choose a percentage for the width and the height. Only choose a percentage for the width and erase the height, and then your image will scale depending on what the width becomes. So if your image is supposed to be 1,000 pixels wide and 500 pixels tall, and you tell it to be 50% of the width, if the width becomes 500, the height will become 250 because the aspect ratio will be constrained. And so you can see here that it looks the same, but if I was to scale the page, the image gets smaller or bigger depending on how big the screen, the computer monitor, your cell phone, etc., is that's looking at the project. And then last, if you decide that you've done something wrong or you want to add to your post, please do your best to edit the post, and that's perfectly okay in our class. Some classes, your teacher will tell you you're not allowed to edit your post, but you're allowed to in Art1280. Please try to only have one post per discussion. You can reply to other students and provide feedback, but for your post, if there are five images that have to be embedded for your project, don't hit reply on your own post over and over and over. It creates a really long discussion thread. Just put all five images inside. And so if you think maybe you're going to run out of time, so you want to post the, the apples image, but you don't have the oranges and the bananas done yet, you can always come back and hit the little three buttons in the top right hand corner and choose to edit. Your goal during the first week and a half or so of the semester is to feel comfortable with this. And so if you have any issues on the first submissions for the discussion post, please email me or your instructor ASAP. Uh, come to online office hours. We really need to get this uh, situated so that you're not having issues because you're going to do this for 23 skills practice activities and all six of your creative projects.